Hello everyone, and it's my pleasure to talk to you about Altair today. And so what I'm going to talk about today is how Altair complements um, modeling particle fluid systems and complementing what Barracuda virtual reactor can already do. So before I move into what, uh, how Altair can complement, I'd like to invite Karthik to talk a little bit about Altair. Thank you. Jaron, can you hear me okay? Okay, first of all, CPFD uh, folks, thank you for this opportunity and uh, very grateful for your partnership. Uh, my name is Karthik Data. I work as a customer success manager based out of Houston. Um, so let's go to the, I just wanna give you, this is our value proposition. Uh, you know, like Altair at a glance is about $700 million, uh, $7 billion in market cap. We're a big company. Uh, 3,000 plus uh, engineers, scientists, and creative thinkers uh, from various domain expertise. We help a lot of customers from, you know, we're verticalized in a way, so we bring in a lot of cross-functional learnings from other verticals to, you know, different verticals. I work in the energy industry uh, based out of Houston. I do see a lot of, uh, you know, synergies that we could create together. Um, and, and also, we've got about 150 products overall, uh, you know, in, in the Altair ecosystem, including uh, CPFD. Um, so how do we help our customers as we are democratizing simulation, you know, like in the, out in the real world, you know, we cannot just say, oh yeah, you know, simulation only or data analytics only or IOT. So in the advent of industry 4.0, you know, how do you integrate them all together, right? You know, simulation, the data science, or engineering data science, IoT, that's where Altair comes into picture, bringing a very unique value proposition to our customers by integrating HyperWorks, uh, which is our uh, design and simulation platform, uh, HPC Works, which is our HPC and cloud offerings, and also RapidMiner, which is our data analytics and AI platform. And we've got a broad solutions portfolio from structural mechanics, you know, thermal fluids, electromagnetics, and all the good stuff that comes along with engineering data science. And last but not the least, you know, with Altair units, think about it like a Netflix approach where you have access to all our software and our partner software. So basically you subscribe to Netflix and you can watch all the movies, so equate that to physics. So that, that's the value proposition that we have. So essentially it's a huge cost savings for our customers that we work with. And that's the high level overview of Altair and how we help, you know, from a business perspective. Thank you. Yeah. So. Yeah, so basically how what Karthik mentioned, we have a lot of products. We have over 73 plus products, including partner softwares. It's just a lot. So I just want to introduce two software, two solutions in the Altair ecosystem today. First one is DEM. So DEM is, or EDEM, I should say, EDEM. It's a high performance software for bulk material simulation. And this is generally powered by discrete element method, or DEM, as it is generally known as. And what EDEM is used to is for bulk material flows. Like, let's say you have fine powders, ores, coal, and so forth, and also for granular materials, like if you have crops, seeds, of course you don't care about crops and seeds, but that's also possible with EDEM, any, anything with a lot of particles in there. And what EDEM provides is a way to derive crucial insight on how, you know, particles interact with the equipment, and not just with the equipment, also with other particles around it, and then, then you know, maybe use that information to improve the operational efficiency of your system as a whole. The other, sol the other tool that I wanted to introduce is AccuSolve today. So AccuSolve is just a general purpose CFD solver. Everybody knows CFD here, I, I understand. So it's just a CFD solver, nothing very super fancy. It's based out of an FEM code. I I'm not familiar with how Barracuda CFD is based out of, but this is FEM code, I should say. Uh, and then it's, it has a very, well, I, why, I'm just surprised why the videos are not playing, but Whatever. Okay, so this is based out of um, an FEM code, and it is uh, a lot of. Um, it has a broad set of features, varying from single phase flows, multi-phase flows, heat transfer, and all of that. So, um, yeah, and e this AccuSolve or this CFD solver is also able to couple with other um, with EDM for sure, with DEM for sure, but also with structural so structural solutions, with, and also with. Uh, multi-body dynamics tool. So you can have a multi-physics simulation with this CFD solver if, if at all that's your requirement. As I said, Alter has um, 
we talked about EREM and AccuSolve or DEM and CFD separately, but how, how do we combine this and how can that you know, help you guys? So first of all, we have something called as Accu, I mean AccuSolve is a CFD solver. We have a single phase fluid flow. It supports, it has a broad range of capabilities with, as I said, single phase flows, multi-phase flows, heat transfer and so forth. But also it has a feature called AccuTrace. What AccuTrace can do is mainly trace all the individual particles and this is generally used for fine powders. If you want to trace fine powders or, and generally for dilute flows. We also have dispersed phase flows for AccuSolve capabilities wherein you can, uh, well, video stopped, but okay. It's dispersed phase flows wherein you, you are able to uh, simulate dispersed flows. You know, this is again not for very dense phase flows, more like dilute flows. But this oiler and granular multi-phase flows that you have here is more for dense phase flows wherein you can almost have up to 63% of volume fraction of solids within the system and then you're able to simulate, uh, simulate the effect of the fluid phase on the particles and uh, the particle on the fluid also. Then, well, this is all CFD, so you, that's just AccuSolve, but anyway, what's more interesting is this coupling over here. So AccuSolve can couple with EDEM one-way coupling and what that one-way coupling does is, because EDEM is a DEM software and it uh, resolves the particle-particle equipments very, very accurately. So this one-way coupling, along with having this particle, particle interactions and non-particle equipment interactions, you're also able to get how um, the fluid affects these particles. If you have a fluid flow, how that would affect these particles. And then finally, with AccuSolve EDEM two-way coupling, you're able to not only get how particles affect the fluid, but or not only get the f how the fluid affect the particles, but also how particles can affect the fluid, and that's what you're seeing, you're seeing in all of these videos here. So these are just some of the applications, and this is uh, the range of industrial flows that are possible with AccuSolve EDEM coupling. So we have a range of industries from agricultural to mining to process to even pharmaceutical industry. So um, you know and. Uh, as you can see here, for process industry, some of the main applications that she is fluidized beds. Of course, we do a lot of fluidized beds, Worcester coaters, pneumatic conveying, mixing applications, and so forth. But also, we have heat transfer and mass transfer capabilities, wherein you can do, you know, drying capabilities with rotary dryers or fluidized bed dryers, and so forth. So, all of this is possible. Also, okay. So, this is where why am I talking about all of this? Because Barracuda complements. So. Altair has a wide range of solutions with, uh, you know, Edem and AccuSol, but all I think we're lacking in some places, and that is exactly where Barracuda complements us. So we are able to do a lot of things, but not everything. But Barracuda is able to help us, you know, achieve the things that we're not able to do. So I'll, now I'll talk about why you, when you would use each of the other solutions. So first of all, this is a 2D plot that I've tried to fit everything in. I've not done a very good job at doing that because I think this doesn't do justice to neither Barracuda nor to Altair, but either ways, let's try and understand what we can do with this now. So for, if you have only granular systems and no flows involved, for sure, why would you use any CFD tool at all? So just go with granular tools, which is, or DM software, which is, a, which is the EDM tool here. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, if you have pure CFD, if you have you know, very few particles or almost no negligent, no particles at all, then you can probably use AccuSolve or the, you know, a pure CFD solver. That's not, not interesting, but the more interesting part is in the middle, and that's where the wide range of solutions are there, and we have Barracuda there and EDM AccuSolve also. So first of all, I'll talk about the difference where you would want to use them. So physical scale, so if you're using a smaller scale, a uh, lab scale, pilot scale, and you're interested in understanding the local effects of your simulation, like let's say you have a jet of particles and you want to understand where the jet of particles interact the other particles nearby. So understanding the local effects, EDM AccuSolve is able to do that for you, but you know, when you're more interested in the bulk system itself, so probably Barracuda is a better choice over there. And of course, larger scale also. So next is number of particles. Again, this again falls into the, you know, in addition to what the physical model would be, Barracuda is amazing. It can do billions of particles. Uh, well, let me go back. Yeah, Barracuda is able to do billions of particles, but EDEM can do tens of millions of particles. Um, of course, we're able to do technically millions of particles also, but uh, the simulation time would be so high that you know the value that you get out of simulation would be lesser than what uh, you can do here. So. Um, I would not recommend going up that high, but anyway, the point is that if you have reasonable 
particle count, then EDA Mac solve can be done. But if you have very high particle count, of course, Barracuda is a better solution there. Um, we have done simulations with a lot of particles also. Where there's a technique called coarse graining, which is used to actually, which is a very well validated academic approach wherein you model particles as a coarse grained particle and not physical particles. But we can talk about that if anybody is interested. But let me move on. I have very less time. Uh, moving on to particle interactions versus fluid particle rag. So if the particle to particle contacts are important to you in your simulation, let's say if you have a blast furnace wherein particles are completely packed with packed system and we have very little space for even air to flow through that. In such packed systems, for sure, Ida Macusol would be a better solution there, but you have a more dilute phase systems and where fluid particle hydrodynamics are more important, then Barracuda is a better solution there. Of course, there is an overlap here, as you can see. Of course, you know, there are some examples where both can be used. So if, if there's an overlap, I'd recommend just use Barracuda because you guys are familiar with Barracuda, so why not? So you don't have to learn anything new. But, you know, for packed systems, for systems where particle particle interactions are more important, uh, Ida Mac yourself can help in that case. Next is particle shape. Of course, Barracuda uh, includes the bulk effect of the shape uh, into its simulation, but sometimes, you know, surface area, there, there's heat transfer, see heat transfer directly affects, uh, surface area affects heat transfer, surface area can also affect, you know, some surface area dependent reaction models and so forth, collisional models and all of that, but so, but Barracuda has some shape aspect into it because you can specify the sphericity of the drag models and everything, but um, the particles are not actually non-spherical. But in EDA Macusol, again, this comes to, uh, you know, how much particle-particle interactions you have, how a lot of particle-particle interactions and the shape becomes an important aspect, or two alls, shape becomes an important aspect, and in that case, you would want to use EDA Macusol, and um, it can help you better there. Next, addition physics and chemical reactions, for sure, Barracuda is amazing. It can do a lot of reactions in here, so I really like how, you know, the capabilities that Barracuda has in this space, for sure. Um, Ada Mac is always better with particle-particle interactions in this, so nothing more to say here. Uh, and then, almost at the end, if you have a moving geometry, if you have something moving in your system, uh, Barracuda has limited capabilities and probably not a good fit, but Ida Mac Yusolv is really great for moving geometries. You can, I mean, the mesh motion that is available with Ida Mac Yusolv is too good, so I'd highly recommend checking this out. But again, at the end, I do want to point out that there is some overlap here, as well, and there is some overlap here, so for all overlaps, I would recommend just go with Barracuda because there's no extra learning curve for you guys. There's I don't think there's an overlap here, but anyway. So if you want pure DEM or if you want more DEM CFD com combination, then probably that is when you would want to use Alter, otherwise Barracuda is doing what you want to do anyway. So next slide, in summary, granular fluids are everywhere, okay? So you would definite, and it's very complex to understand that, that's why we are all here. So in that cases, you would, uh, I mean, we have Barracuda, AccuSolve, and EDEM as, couple, as all of the solutions that can be used to understand these complex flows. And then finally, all of these solutions are available under a single license. You don't have to have multiple licenses. It's all available under a single license with the Alter Units model. So that's the end of my presentation or my talk. And happy to take any questions.